Having a big hook or slice with any of your club is one of the worst feelings a golfer can have. It's also one of the more common things golfers face, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite training devices that have made me a more consistent golfer. So what we're going to be talking about in this video are what training aids actually work for me, what each of them is going to work on, who they're going to be best for, and I'll be talking about the cheapest place to get them as well. But if you do want to see a full like demo, um, check out the full review down below. But I'm not saying these are going to magically fix your swing overnight, and I'm not saying they're going to work for you. They've been a big help for my game, but I ended up putting in a lot of practice with them. If you don't practice with them on a regular basis, there's really no point in getting them because you're not going to see the results. It's, it's kind of obvious, but you would be surprised by how many people spend hours mess around with all these different training aids and tools and devices and wonder why they're still slicing the ball. So before we get into it, I will just mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below, do those three things and be automatically entered. So number six is going to be the impact bag. So the most common reason you're slicing or hooking the ball is that your club face is too open or too close at impact. So you can do pretty much everything else perfectly fine, but if your club face isn't square at impact, you're never going to be able to hit a straight shot, you know, unless you're a pro, but if you're watching this, I'm going to assume you're not. So an impact bag, it's going to basically show you what it should feel like at impact. It's going to force you to lead with your hands, and then if you don't, you're going to feel it right away. So in my opinion, learning is best done or the easiest to learn by actually feeling what it should feel like it's the best way to learn it's the best way i've been able to improve my game and this here was a big help so there are a number of companies making a product like this but i think this impact bag here is built the best you don't need to like swing at a full power like you would a real ball but the main thing would be to focus on getting your hands and club face in the right position and again you're going to feel it right away if you don't do it so that right there is the first one and we're going to move on to the golf grip trainer so one of the next major faults of people's swings they have the wrong grip there really isn't only one way to grip the club but a lot of golfers do make things a lot harder than they need to be because if you do set up wrong before you swing it's going to be really tough to you know try to compensate for what you're doing wrong I always like to think that the more you can do right before your swing, the better you're going to be. So I like this trainer because it's small, it can attach to all of your clubs, so driver, irons, wedges, and it's super inexpensive as well. So I always spend like 5 minutes or so, like 5 to 10 minutes before my round or before my practice round, um, just practicing my swing with this and it does really help. So you might not think your grip is that big of a deal. but you're never gonna really know for sure until you try changing something. So obviously if you're slicing or hooking the ball, something is wrong and you know why not try changing your grip because it's it's an easy thing to do and it really can be a big factor. So whenever I did change my grip to a bit of a stronger grip, I found that it was way easier to compress the ball. I'm not saying this is gonna work for you, but you know, my shots end up going a lot straighter and higher as well, which gave me more distance. So it's definitely worth giving it a try. The next trainer is going to be the T-Claw. And I like this device because it's inexpensive and it can be used to work on pretty much all parts of your game. So most other trainers, they only really work on one or two areas of your game, but the T-Claw is gonna be used for like alignment. It can be used for you know improving your swing path, putting, and a number of other things. It's also going to let you use real tees at the range instead of those crappy rubber ones. So it's going to come with four claws and five lanyards. The claws are going to pretty much attach to the grass mats. And then the lanyards are what it's going to help you with like alignment and angles. So the claws have holes in the top of them. And then that's where you can put any size tee. So if you want to use your driver, your woods, or your irons, you can use different um, different tee lengths in the claws themselves. So that's really cool. But basically, whenever I was struggling with a slice, I, I like to use two lines. The first line was for my downswing, and the second line was for my follow through. So line number one there would stop me from swinging too much over the top, and that's going to um, be be the cause of a lot of slices. So I'm swinging too much. Um, like out in and cutting across the ball and then line number two is going to help me you know make sure I actually follow through correctly so I am a right-handed golfer so just having those lines they, they make me swing more from the inside and make make sure I actually do end up getting a good follow-through and that really helped me out as well the next one is going to be a figure eight strap 
And this has been one of my favorite trainers of all time for working on my swing. It's extremely simple and cheap, but it does work really well for keeping your entire body connected through the swing. So when your body's connected, it's gonna let you generate more power, you're gonna be able to more consistency, and you're gonna be able to hit the ball further. So all it is is a figure eight strap that goes just above your elbows, and it's gonna force you to keep your arms closer together. It's gonna help you keep your back elbow basically tighter to your body. And this is gonna show you what the golf swing should feel like, and I think that's the best way to learn. So you could also make your own strap with like some resistance bands, like the ones you, you go to the gym with, you know, the, they give a little bit of resistance, you could tie one of those together. Or you could hold a ball between your arms, maybe like a, um, like a soccer ball, Type, maybe a little smaller, but you can hold the ball between your arms and that's going to pretty much make you do this exact same thing. But it's really not that expensive, so it's going to be way more e easier and convenient just to go out and buy one for yourself. The next is going to be the Swing Eyed. This here is one of the best selling training aids of all time and it's going to help you hit the ball straighter and get more distance. So it's pretty cheap as well and you're going to be able to attach it to whatever club you want. So it's going to help you make sure your club face is aligned properly which is where like the hooker slice comes from. So, And then it's also going to show you how much wrist hinge you should have, how to get the proper leg in your swing and then how to properly release the club. So I never had enough rich wrist hinge in my swing and I made a really tough to hit a straight shot. So basically whenever you have the right amount of you know hinge in your wrist, it's gonna be way easier to have a smoother and more powerful downswing. So this was another thing that really helped me out. But the final one is going to be the speed trap and I'm not saying these are in any specific order because they're not, I'm just you know randomly listing them. So this device is a little bit more expensive than the rest but it's been super helpful for my iron play it's going to help you with alignment, ball striking, getting the right swing plane, and hitting draws and fades. So what I like about this trainer is that it's going to tell you pretty much right away what you did wrong. Because if you're not swinging on the right plane, you're going to hit the red pylons on it. And then if you don't hit the club face square, you're going to hit the plastic base. So I really noticed a difference in my iron play, but you can still use it for like your wedges or your driver as well. So my shots were higher, they were straighter, and that resulted in more distance. But if you don't want to spend the money, you can also go and just get two water bottles and place those on the ground. So if you were a right-handed golfer, you would put one water bottle closer to you and to the left, and then you put another one further away from you, like put past the ball and to the right, and then you want to make sure you miss the, the water bottles, and that's going to help you kind of do the same sort of thing. But if you would like to see more images or a demo or get any of these for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time I'm making this video, that was the cheapest place I could find it. So you can go ahead and check on the current price if you want. And if you do have any questions, simply leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you haven't already watched and commented on our latest video, click the video card to the left and get yourself another entry into our golf giveaway.